This grand tour of the United States for the New York Mets kicks off tonight in Anaheim as the Mets begin a three-game series against the Los Angeles Angels. This tour of the West Coast begins here in Southern California before the Mets make a pit stop in St. Louis before taking on Colorado and Seattle to close out this four-city swing. Angels going to go with left-hander Tyler Anderson on this Friday night. He gets the start for Ron Washington's Halos. Tyler Anderson, who comes in eight and nine with an ERA of 2.96. Anderson also is two and two against the Mets in his big league career with an ERA of 2.45 against them in five previous starts. Francisco Lindor digs in from the right side. There's the next one on Lindor, the one two, and he waves and misses a changeup, struck him out. So Lindor, who came into the ball game hitting 254, a strikeout victim, and has four hits now his last 25 times up and a little bit of a slump and the next batter will be Brandon Nimmo. Bounce to the right side, Guillaume dives and it's by him into right field, a base hit. So Luis Guillaume, as we know, a very sure-handed defender, dove to his left, but Nimmo sneaks a base hit by him. And the Mets have their first hit of the game. One on one out, top of the first, just getting started, Mets and Angels. Here's J.D. Martinez, who spent, of course, last year in this town playing for the Dodgers. In the dirt, ball four, walked him with a changeup. And so the Mets with something brewing here against Tyler Anderson. At first and second and one out for Pete Alonso. Chase and a miss, and down goes Alonso. And that was the changeup. That's been a bread and butter pitch for Anderson this season. Both outs on strikeouts. Now two outs with runners at first and second, and Mark Vientos will be the next batter. Here's the two-strike delivery, and he chases and misses that elevated fastball at 91. Struck him out. So Tyler Anderson ends up striking out the side in between the uh, three strikeouts. They had a hit and a walk. They leave a pair on. Half inning in the books, no score. Paul Blackburn acquired at the trade deadline from the Oakland Athletics. He makes his Mets debut against a team that he last faced as a member of the A's in the Los Angeles Angels. Paul Blackburn on the mound for the Mets tonight. The Angels have not beat this guy yet in his career. Blackburn is 4-0 in six starts with an ERA of 3.27, and he's 3-0 out here at Angel Stadium. Swinging at the first pitch as he likes to do is Shonowell, and he lines that one into right field. So first ball swinging, Shonowell on. So the batter is Renjifo, who's been having some wrist issues, but back in the lineup tonight. Called the right pitch there, a changeup. Foul tipped it into Alvarez's mitt. First out for Blackburn. But Paul Blackburn has his first man strikeout. One out in the bottom of the first, and here is the catcher, Logan Ohapi. It's a really good at bat. It was an 0 2 start to that at bat. He ends up working a walk. So Ohapi is on at first. Shonowell gets pushed to second. And the Angels in the bottom of the first send up short lefty hitter Willie Calhoun. Swinging a shot toward the middle. Lindor has it on the backhand. Flips to second for one. Iglesias to first. In time double play. And the Mets turn the double play behind Paul Blackburn. No runs, one hit, a walk, but one lap. End of an inning in Anaheim. Mets nothing, Angels nothing. Jose Iglesias leads off the second inning for the Mets. 0-1 oh on Iglesias. Next pitch. Lined in the air, right center field. Moniak over, not going to get it. It's a bouncer toward the right center field fence. Iglesias jogging into second with a stand-up double. Top of the second inning at Angel Stadium, first of three. Mets have a runner at second for Alvarez. Alvarez dunks that one into left field, being waved around third is Iglesias. Ward doesn't even attempt to throw it home. So Francisco Alvarez starts August with a bang. one nothing Mets. Alvarez gets the Mets on the board to start the West Coast trip. A ribby single to left, and in the top of the second, it is 1-0 Mets. Mets one, Angels nothing after an inning and a half in Anaheim. So once again, Blackburn having to deal with first and second and one out, just like he did in the first inning. Here's Joe Adele, good power hitter, low batting average. Here's the next pitch. That's a ground ball off the glove of the third baseman, Vientos. It goes into left, being waved home as the lead runner for the Angels. So Moniak will score on that one. And the Angels have tied up the game at one. Easily was able to get Moniak to score. Great read by Zach Neto going first to third on that. So now Guillaume with first and third, one out. Runner goes towards second, pitch taken high. Alvarez throwing through to second base. The tag, he's out at second. Adele is out. Lindor put the tag on Adele's foot. It was a throw that went to the right of second base toward first. Lindor came all the way over to get it and put the tag down on anything close and got Adele in the foot, and the Angels are not going to challenge. What a job by Lindor to recover. Runner at third base, two outs, three and two on Guillaume. Blackburn fires. 
Strike three called up and in, and Guillaume didn't like it, but Blackburn gets the call on what probably looked like ball four. In the inning, a run on two hits. Mets one, Angels one after two in Los Angeles. Nimmo stays put at second as Pete Alonso comes to the plate. Here's Pete, 0 for 1. He went down on strikes. Pete Alonso gets all of that one. Goodbye, a home run for Big Pete. And the Mets go back in front. A two-run shot. It's 3-1. You can feel Big Pete heating up, can't you? He just can sense it. Alonso finding that power stroke again. That series with Atlanta and then into Minnesota hit home runs in back-to-back -back games. And again, they come in bunches when you're a power hitter like Alonso is. We go to the fifth with the Mets ahead, 3-1. to one. And now here's Alvarez, who's already driven in a run tonight for the Mets, trying to tack one on here. Meanwhile, you have Anderson on the mound for the Angels, just trying to bulldog his way through five tonight. Next pitch. Popped in the air into shallow right field. Moniak is coming in. He's not going to get to it in time, but diving and making the catch on that one is going to be Guillaume. He saves the day on that one. Took that one away from his old club. He used to be with the Mets, and that will end the inning. The Mets take their 3-1 to one lead over the Los Angeles Angels into the sixth. Who is this right here? Where's Bobby? Imagine where Bobby goes. Over 50 years in the game of baseball, <laughs> the thing that anybody recognizes me for is wearing a stupid costume into the dugout. So you get thrown out of that game. Uh, and, you, and you managed to work your way back in there. You thought you were going incognito, didn't you? Nobody would notice you, right? I wanted the players to notice me because there, there was a little stress on the team. <laughs> huh? You know, like three of my coaches were fired three days before, and I predicted that we would go 40 and 15 in the next 55 games. And now with my heart and my life on the line, where I'm saying I quit the team. If the team doesn't go 40 and 15, and we just had a, a lead in the ninth inning, and it was blown, and then I get thrown out of the game well, when I get up to the clubhouse I go back down to loosen the guys up we get a laugh we win the game it's up to JD Martinez try to add on for the Mets here who have a three to one lead two two to Martinez is bounced down the right field line past the diving Shonwell going into right field Bader rounds third he scores standing up Lindor goes first to third and Martinez with an inside out swing bounds one down the first baseline RBI is going to make it four to one Mets in the top of the sixth. So this brings up Mark Vientos, the 1 0 to Vientos. Tapped on the ground is short. Neto has it and then bobbles it, and everybody is safe and a run scores. Lindor scores from third. Martinez to second, and Vientos on it first. The Mets get a gift by probably one of the better shortstops in baseball, Zach Neto, who could have gone to second, could have gone to first. He couldn't get it though in his club, and the Mets make it 5 to 1 on the E6. Middle of six in Anaheim. The Mets five, the Angels one. Bottom six, Paul Blackburn back out there, putting himself quite nicely so far in his Mets debut. He's gone five innings, just one run allowed against the Angels. Got him swinging on the inside corner with a changeup. So Blackburn's now fan six, and he has one out in the bottom of the sixth. And the Angels have a base runner here in the sixth. Moniak two for two tonight. Two singles and a run scored. 1-1 one, one to Moniak. Grounded right side at Iglesias at second base. He's got it. Flipped to first. Inning over. So now Paul Blackburn with a 5-1 lead. Has a nice wind at his back. Pretty good first Mets debut. We go to the bottom of the ninth in Anaheim. Mets three outs away from a win. Have a 5-1 lead. So the Angels are down to their final out. Maton trying to put the finishing touches on this. 5-1 Met lead. Swing and a miss. Got him with a cutter. And the ball game is over. The Mets open up the West Coast trip off to a good start. They beat the Angels 5-1 in game one at Angel Stadium.